Hey everybody, I'm David, and in this video I'm going to show you all the notes for your 10-hole and 12-hole transverse ocarinas. Keep in mind that if you do have a 10-hole ocarina, that means that you're not going to have the two lowest notes, A and B, which you use by playing uh, the subholes on 12-hole ocarinas. So again, ignore the two, two lowest notes, which are A or B, and you're going to start on C. Now also keep in mind that we're going to be assuming that you have an ocarina tuned to C, which is perfectly fine if you don't, because the ocarina can be both a concert pitch and a transposing instrument. And all that basically means is that when you see C, uh, either on the ledger line or um, up in the staff, that means that it's going to be sounding its actual key. So when you see the C down here, it's going to be, um, like if your ocarina is tuned to F, the actual concert pitch that's going to be playing is F. And if you want to learn more about transposing and what all this means, you can check out my Theory for Ocarina videos, which there'll be a links down here and also in the description below. So how this is going to work is you're going to see the pitch somewhere on the staff that we've been learning the last couple weeks on the left side of the screen. And on the right side, I'm going to show you the fingering position for it on your ocarina. Keep in mind that we're going to start on the very lowest note, which is A for the 12 hole and C for the 10 hole. So if you have a 10 hole ocarina, just uh, wait to start playing until after B. With the help of my handy dandy metronome, let's get started. All holes covered. Ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, keep your left pinky down, A, B, C, left thumb up, D, right thumb now, E, left pinky off, F, and let's go back down, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. Awesome job. If you need to review a little bit, click the annotation down here at the bottom of the screen and it will take you back to the beginning of this little exercise and play through a couple times. I've also included a little cheat sheet in the description box below so you can uh, review and practice on your own. but. Go ahead and keep practicing memorizing all the pitches of your ocarina, and you should be able to play just about anything you want within reason. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next week.